Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mildly Infuriating. We begin with number 19. Everyone has that one family member. The best lasagna I've ever had in Italy. Then move there. Vacation is always better. California will survive. What? Sorry that I expressed that I was excited about the food that I ate on my trip. It wasn't meaning that I, I'm gonna leave for the lasagna. So, sir, why is it that you are attempting to immigrate into Italy? Well, really good lasagna. That's specifically it. I've decided to abandon the entirety of my prior life, family, friends, Back in California, I'm here for the lasagna and the lasagna alone. Okay, sir, welcome right in. You are now a citizen of Italy. <laughs> Thank you for complimenting our food. I can't close a company because I owe nothing, and they're disappointed with me. We refer to my previous communication, which I'm detailed the outstanding balance. You is very disappointed to know that the balance remains outstanding. We're <laughs> We're very disappointed to note that uh, you don't owe us anything. That's actually why we're disappointed. We were hoping we could collect some money from you, but we can't figure out a way to make it look like you owe us money, but we'd like for you to owe us money, but you actually don't owe us anything, but we're still disappointed that you don't actually need to give us money. <sighs> Dealing with like corporations and taxes and stuff is, is really frustrating. One of the biggest wastes of money I ever did was I made an LLC for the sake of trying to have some privacy and buying my old house. That didn't work at all. Like articles came out in the first couple of weeks. That was great. I still had to pay the California minimum tax of $800 every year because the LLC owned the house and that was like the mortgage and everything like that. So I couldn't just dissolve the company and stop paying it even though the privacy thing didn't work out. I had to just for eight years, keep paying it. I've now sold the house. The biggest waste of money didn't turn out to be the LLC. It turned out to be the amount of money I lost on the house. <laughs> but aside from that, it still adds insult to injury. Freaking corporations. This is bad. Coworker keeps avoiding to pay me back after she conveniently forgot her wallet at dinner. Hey, can you real quick pay me back for dinner the other week? Hey girl, sure thing, I get paid next week. I'll be sure to hit you up then. I'm not sure to be rude, but you've been saying that for over three weeks now, so, uh, you know. All right, and you're just gonna stalk me every day? Thought you were better than that. I can't believe you actually want the money back. I was just gonna say this forever and ever and ever until you dropped it, but now that you actually really want the money back, you're a terrible person. You ever thought about how terrible you are? I'm literally just asking for you to pay me back. I already told you I will. This short is pissing me off and I'm done talking to you. Yeah, she was never planning to pay you back. Honestly, the way to look at, you know, friends and money is that you either have a friend and you know that the money is not gonna be paid back or you have a business relationship and you pursue the money. That seems like the only way to really handle it. And if it was someone you were expecting to, to pay you back and they don't, you have to determine which was more important, the friendship or the money. So, I paid off my student loans and four cents was added to the balance while the payment was processing. <laughs> That's actually really funny and sad. <laughs> Usually the way it's supposed to happen is like you you get the payoff amount quoted and that payoff amount will be valid until a certain cutoff date, which is usually like a few days later after you've requested the payoff amount. And I wonder if they just were like, no, 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 here's the payoff literally right now. It's valid for this one second. Your interest is going to continue to accrue. And then interest is going to accrue on the four cents as well. So by the time you paid off the four cents, you're actually gonna owe like another 0. 0.004 cents. And really there's actually, it's like the whole thing of, you know, if you keep cutting a sandwich in half, or you keep, sorry, it's not keep cutting, well, if you keep cutting it in half with your teeth, like if you keep eating half of the sandwich and then half of the remainder, so on and so forth, you'll never actually finish the sandwich. You're never actually gonna finish this. It's just gonna keep getting more and more microscopic. My bike, but not my dog tied to it. What? You're, what? What do you even do in this situation? What? Why did they leash their dog to your bike? What, there were so many other options here. Did they, did they wrap it around? Hold on, I gotta get the, we gotta zoom in. Enhance, oh, thank goodness. Enhance sometimes actually works. So they did loop it around the 
wait no they didn't hold on i can't tell oh yeah okay so this is part of the thing you're locking your bike to so they looped the leash around the thing but they also looped it around your bike in fact there was no way that this was going to happen without your bike being entangled in this mess because they were even if they wrapped it around here they would have gone through the opening of your bike and you would have had to like take your bike and pull it over the dog which wasn't gonna happen uh, i guess just undo the leash Hope the dog is friendly. Why does the dog look like it's not having a good time? And I'm really sad about this whole thing. This is not good. Okay, so anyway, my boy's Z got stolen. Can we enhance, please? Okay, okay, it's a it's a Nissan 350Z. I was like, I was reading the thing at first, and I thought it was like a parent saying that their 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 child, their boy's like something got stolen. But I think it's like a it's a friend. A friend, their friend's Nissan 350Z got stolen, which is it's just pretty lame. Why do I have to click the thing? This is mildly infuriating. I click on the post, and it takes me to the post, but the image is cut off, so I have to click see full size image, and then it opens a new tab where it then shows me the full size image. But now I can't go to the next image. I have to go back to the other page and then click this way where it's then gonna be cut off, where I then have to click the thing again, which opens up a new tab, which doesn't let me scroll back and forth. Why are we, this is mildly infuriating. Why are you making me do this, Reddit? What are you doing? Okay, so here we have the before picture, and then we have, I mean, it's impressive that you actually just found the listings for the chopped up car parts. I, how did you manage to track that down? That's really impressive, but yeah, that is, uh, this, this is m not exactly mildly infuriating. This is more, um, seriously criminal so yeah i don't i don't really agree with the the mildly infuriating is like somebody parked too close to me more than that is somebody stole my car and is now attempting to sell the parts that's a bit beyond the i think it's very justifyingly ang angry and mildly infuriating is the tabs being stupid in reddit extreme anger is my car got stolen me clown Week six activity assignment. How are you able to answer the question about the office when the video is not available? You should not be getting answers from previous semesters or students. I hope this is not a regular thing. Are you, what, wait, what? Are you like, a, a, no. wait, hold on, hold on. Is this like, a, is this an entrapment question? <laughs> on a freaking, on, a, on homework? Is this like a paper town on a map? Like freaking, I don't know if you know what a paper town is. It's map companies in order to know if another company was plagiarizing them rather than actually developing the map themselves, they would put a fake paper town onto their map. And if they saw that made up fake paper town occur on another brand's map, they would know that it was actually just plagiarized. Was this like a an, same sort of thing? Like it was an entrapment question where, where they actually weren't able to provide you with the data that you needed in order to see if the person actually answered based on another person's work or something and that person had all the information did you actually did you actually cheat i'm super confused like is it mildly infuriating that they did this in the homework which is kind of petty or is it mildly infuriating that you didn't cheat but they think you cheated i didn't know i don't know oh you're oh me equals clown i'm assuming you did actually cheat <laughs> whoops <laughs> Funny, but also what the heck? Getting a third dollar general in our town of only 2,200 people. I actually, and I bet all the comments on this video are the same thing because it was a recommended video on YouTube and it had a lot of views on it. Saw a video on YouTube recently talking about why specifically dollar generals like are popping up and have popped up all over the place in really low populated towns that don't actually have major grocery stores because it's not profitable enough to establish a grocery store there. It's like actually a food desert, which is wild that that exists in the US. But like Dollar General apparently is able to thrive. It feels like we're doing a nature documentary on like a lizard that is able to magically make like water work for him inside a, a desert with dollar general is these like <laughs> creatures that appear in these places where other stores are not able to be profitable and they're able to like absorb all the water or something like that but yeah the interesting thing was that per unit of the the things that are being bought you know what whatever household goods toilet paper detergent things like that per unit it's actually more expensive but 
they are able to, they sell lower quantities, so the price of the item at checkout is lower, even though you end up having to go back more often in order to restock, and they strike, anyway. It's, it's, it was an interesting video, but yeah, lines up, <laughs> there, another one's popping up. It's first-hand anecdotal evidence. I got a free printer from somebody moving. Turns out the ink in it can't be used without a subscription. But you also can't use it without making an account and logging in to that account on your PC in order to print. God. Sorry, it's the it's the classic jarred on printing rant. I didn't I like what can't cartridge cannot be installed unless the printer is enrolled. But why? But why? God, so hold on. It must be that the it has a specific ink cartridge already installed in it that came from the plan that the person was in, but then it changed ownership. And because, oh, you obviously had to log in because otherwise how would it know that the ink cartridge didn't belong to you because you didn't log in through their account? Oh, ow. God, oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad at printers. My boss didn't approve my timesheet and now I didn't get paid this week. Uh, sorry to bother you, but you still haven't approved my timesheets yet. I know I'm on vacation, I understand. Uh, timesheets are due, won't be able to get paid if it's not approved by you already. As it sounds like bad planning your product, sign it when I return it. I will not get paid, and then we get pushed for the next cycle. I really can't wait that long. Can't, I can't submit before the end of the week, so I'm not really sure what I could have done differently. <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> the thumbs up at the end. I, I love that it sounds like bad planning on your part because I'm on vacation and you didn't plan around me being on vacation rather than the bad planning potentially being the person being on vacation being unable to access something that they need to do should be a slightly different story hmm yeah i guess that's a little that is a little mildly infuriating mm -hmm. yeah entitled neighbor wasn't happy with my parking job so they blocked me in this um I, I want to know the I, I'd like to know the backstory here. This I'm assuming the the person posting is like this actually is your spot, right? This isn't the person with the truck. This isn't actually their spot that you parked in. I'm assuming this is actually your spot. In which case, perfectly fine parking job. In fact, it's nice of you. You you, you know you went closer over to the side of the pillar, which you know gives more room for the person who's surrounded by cars on each side with no insulation, with a pillar or something like that, and then they were just like... Do, do we know that they're actually angry, or are they just bad? We, we mustn't confuse malice for <laughs> simple idiocy, you know? Like, maybe they just suck at parking, and they were like, oh, this is fine. Even though, how did they exit? Did, did, they, did they leave some room at the front of the car in order to be able to walk around the front? Or did they just do some like parkour? They opened their door or maybe they went out the passenger side. Either way, this person over here is like, heck yeah, finally I can open my door. <laughs> Never used to be able to. They changed their grudge to the person on the left. I could use more info. But anyway, this company absolutely butchered our pen order. Instead of following the instructions in our conversation, they just printed the instructions right on the pens. There's gotta be a subreddit specifically for this thing because of how often it seems to occur. Please add .ca after the logo so it reads myprofessionals.ca. Hey, you know, at the end of the day, it did, you do have the website there. It just came with a few extra steps. I do feel like a situation like this, you would probably be able to, you know, contact support on the website and be like, yeah, you guys did the thing where you add the, there should be, there's gotta be a name for this in, and the, therefore it'd be the name of the subreddit, but a name for this in design where the notes are added as actual text on the product and if there isn't there should be a name created for this and and then you should just be able to like have that as an option in customer support like hit that button and then everything is solved i bought this palette specifically for the blue middle shade why does it look like mold in the thumbnail <laughs> Bro, I'm ruined by the by all the mold posts and like, well, that sucks and stuff. Everything's just like mold when it's zoomed out in the freaking thumbnail. Oh, oh, oh! Why would you do that? What the frick, bro? It just like it looks. Everything looks blue or a shade of blue or maybe a little silver in there, and then you're just like, that's not what I bought. <laughs> uh, what? I feel like there needs to be like a, a note on there. Open me before you buy, just to make sure that you, you're, you know what you're buying 
because it doesn't look like with the lid on it or change the packaging. One way or the other. <laughs> Surprise, mystery makeup unboxing. My $400 baby monitor has locked previously free features behind a monthly subscription. Um, okay, what do we... Innovative, innovative health monitor. Why does this read like a lawsuit kind of? Oh, because it's a like press release acquisition. Uh, acquisition by Innovative Health Monitoring and implementation of subscription services. I still can't see the full freaking thing because it's... Mm, you... God, I have to click into the new... I have to go over, click, go into the new tab, then click back, go into the new tab, click... Ooh, we're watching live mildly infuriating strike again. Subscription membership at $10 per month. All the things that you bought this for initially, now you don't. <laughs> have because you have to pay we know that you paid a hundred four hundred dollars for this but now you have to pay another uh 30 percent of the price every year in order to do the things that you put, thought you had but you don't have now because it's not the same company we acquired them so you can't get mad because we're actually new people that yeah that's uh huh i didn't know you could do that but i suppose you can do that but it doesn't seem like a good practice it seems like a good way to alienate customers that's like pretty expensive versus it's like 30, th after three years, you just buy a new thing. I mean, I understand that security things, like, they charge you. And maybe it was just very nice of them before to, to have, like, 24-7 video recording, uploading to the cloud free of charge. would be pretty swick. I'd be all over that. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of, it's not, not, not cool to have it revoked. She's 27, and she pretty much stopped talking to me after this. Hi, Daniela. This is David from Hinge. Hi there. Oh no, an Android? You, you're right. You caught me. I'm, I'm actually a bot. I like. Dang, man. I thought finally me, a, uh, an Android, finally, you know, get some love like Dragon Ball Z or something like that. But, but no. I guess this. I guess it's just not gonna work out. And it's really heartbreaking. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, actually though, this. I, I, is this a real thing? Does this really happen? Is this real? Because you could obviously like fake this very easily, but is it a real thing? Do people actually have a weird aversion to, ooh, it's not iMessage. I'm sorry, I can't communicate with you. This is just not gonna work. Is that a, is that a real thing? Because honestly, from the other end of it, if this is real, I mean, it just seems like a good way to weed out someone new you might not get along with for other reasons. Bit of a red flag right there. Like, you're gonna... It's really like the... the You're willing to just write me off because of the brand of cell phone. The operating system. It's kind of weird. But thank you for letting me know about this before we got too far along and it got even weirder for other reasons. Who knows? So, okay. <laughs> um, goodbye, I guess. Now let me close out all these other tabs that are still up here from the last post. My classroom after a preschool tantrum. Jeez, bro. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, this can't be an anomaly. This probably happens every now and again because it's like a three-year-old. And what's a three-year-old going to do? Be logical and like, ah, you know what? I'm feeling pretty not good right now. Teacher, you know, I would like to thrash this classroom and make items strewn all about, but instead, you know what? I will politely request that my parents take me to a rage room after school. Until then, I will quell my emotions because I am a three-year-old and I am very mature. <laughs> this is a realistic scenario to have <laughs> play out. Oh, God, dude. I mean, you know what? Gotta shout out to you for, for you know, having to, you know, I mean, hopefully this doesn't happen often, but, you know, shout out to you for, it'd be, it'd be stressful dealing with little kids, and you probably, you can't do anything. You wouldn't be able to, like, try to stop the kid and hold them in place. Like, you'd get in trouble, probably, to try to, like, make them not trash the classrooms. Kind of just probably have to just let it happen, right? Sold boat, cash check, then receive this. 
Good morning. Could you do me a favor and please not deposit the check I sent you? Uh, we, I, we were interested in a larger boat that just became available. I, I'll let you know tomorrow. I believe if we're going to purchase the other boat or stay with yours, sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, just notice the check was cashed. Please don't do anything until I talk to you. You know what they say about boat ownership. They say that the happiest days are the first day you get it and the day that you sell it, unless the person who you sell it to ends up deciding that they're interested in a larger boat and therefore wants to reverse the sale and you have to deal with that whole situation because even though presumably they already signed the purchase contract and title boats, I assume, have titles, right? I've never dealt with a boat, don't plan on getting one. But, and legally they've gone through with it, you have to deal with them being really obnoxious and trying to revert the thing and maybe getting, telling their bank, oh, this was fraudulent, I didn't actually do this, and they have to go through the charge being reversed or something like that. I don't know how it works, and you need to get lawyers involved, and that's what they say about boat ownership, so... <laughs> Please, please, I know we already went, can you imagine like walking into a car dealership and being like, you know, guys, I know I already got, I know I already sent you the money, but could you just not cash that? I, I brought the car back, you know, it's over, it's over there. I just drove it home and, and back. Can you guys, I was interested in the other, see, there's a dealership across the street. I was interested in their car. Actually, it's bigger. Can you just not cash the check? Here's the car. I'm going to go over there. Thanks, guys. <laughs> This is why you signed the uh, purchasing agreements before you drove off. Uh, my friend said we were going out in costumes on Friday the 13th. <clears throat> this is most unfortunate. <laughs> well, hey, actually, you know what you got? You, what, what, how is that? You got two friends who are in costumes. They didn't go like full face paint. But, you know, if you didn't have the face paint on it, yeah, they're wearing a full body outfit as well. It's literally a majority of the people in your group here are, and this guy is totally, totally here for the photo, by the way. Majority in the group did dress up. You embraced it like a little bit more than, than they did, unless actually, I can't tell, maybe they just all painted their faces blue. And, and so they're all in costume with blue face paint. So I don't know, I don't see what the problem is. You did blue like eye, eye makeup and they did full blue face paint. So. I think they were all pretty in spirit here. I'm not sure what the problem is. Threatened to sue me after crashing the car. I have to do the thing again with the freaking do this and then go back and then go to the next photo and then do that and then go to bed and then go to the next photo. Holy frick. And then go in reverse order on the, oh my God, dude. I'm getting wrecked here. You still have insurance on the car? No, I took it out Saturday. I sold it to you. Why? That works. Still in your name. My son got into an accident on the way home. Can you call your insurance? What? Like you sold, wait, what? Uh, sorry to hear that. Is he okay? He's fine. I'm just trying to get this fixed. Can you let your insurance know? What? But, but did you, I'm assuming that Purple Text sold the car to Grey Text? Like, sold it. Signed off on the title and everything. <laughs> like that. Um, that looks like pretty bad hit. Usually you go through your own insurance after the title is signed over. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to work with you. Insurance will pay for it. You don't have to pay for nothing. Or you can take it back for the difference in all the damage. That's not how this works. Listen, buddy, I'm giving you a chance to make things right after selling me an unsafe car. Excuse me. You knew this car needed a clutch. The ad said must be towed and you insisted on driving it home. Oh, boy. I hope you kept records of all of this because... <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna have to get this. It's not operational. You gotta. You can't drive this one. Okay, driving at home. Maybe. Maybe it was all a scam. It might have been an insurance scam, actually. Um, maybe they. It could have been crashed on purpose. It seems very possible. Um, all I'm saying is, car is unsafe to drive, and I want this sorted out before I get my lawyers involved. It's very intimidating behavior right there. Well, still a pain. You know what they say about getting a car. The best days are the first day you get it and the day you sell it, unless the person who you sell it to purposely uh, ignores your instructions and drives it home when it was unsafe to drive and sold as is and doesn't have a working clutch and then crashes it and you don't know actually if it was crashed on purpose to try to get money from you and you're not entirely sure about the whole thing. That's what they say about buying cars. Thanks for watching the last month of Mildly Infuriating. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.